everybody. How's everybody today? Working on an old UFO. If I can pick it up. Hi, Brenda. I'm working on an old UFO, so I don't know if you can see it very well. Here, let me turn this camera over. It's a butterfly quilt. Hi, from Kentucky, Kentucky, Brenda. Sorry. I'm working on a butterfly quilt, and I thought we could do some working on UFOs. So how are you? I like it too. Thank you. I'm going to pull this other camera towards the machine. Thank you. Sorry. Piece of hair. How are you doing? Hi Sandra. I know I was scheduled I scheduled at 12:35, but I was being um me and my friend uh Elizabeth from Good Gude's Good. Thank you, Beverly. She scheduled one too, so her and I decided to do it at different times. I figured I'd let her go. So she had some kids that were taken care of. I figured I'd go right after her so I could see the her YouTube channel. How is my volume? Do you guys like it or is it too loud? Is the sound too loud? Do I need to turn it down or is it perfect? Awesome. Oh, Brenda, I am going to actually do that after I do. I, I printed all the patterns from Stephanie Stitches. I just wanted to actually um, do some UFOs. This is a project I did maybe three and a half years ago. So. Could be louder. How's that? I just don't want to be too loud and blow someone's ears drums. Hi, Sandra. Perfect? Okay. I just turned it up a little bit more. I just figured we could do some while I work on UFOs and maybe you guys could work on yours and um, chat as we do it. So. Alright. Thank you. I, so this is my third live so I'm trying really hard not trying hard but trying to get better and that's why I needed you guys to tell me if it's too loud or too 
soft, and just like with the machine, if the light is too bright or not, and it's for you guys to see. Okay, thank you. And a fair warning, I know Sandra knows um, that I have puppies. Uh, if they bark, I am so sorry for that. It's a really nice day for them to be outside. The pattern I'm working on is called the butterfly pattern. You can find it on Missouri Star. If that helps. I found it there, but I didn't really, the only thing I followed was the strip part and the corner pieces and the strip in the middle. But the rest, the teal, and I'll show you the full pattern. I'm going to turn the camera so you guys can see the full pattern. There you go. I just took the teal and made it a five and a half inch border and put it around it so it's like an individual um, butterflies and they're not sticking together. So. Thank you. Thank you. This is a project I was doing for my daughter. Uh, hi Nancy I'm working on a butterfly pattern so it's gonna look like this when I'm done before I put the blue um, fabric around it so, I need to get something for the cutting mat. Keep sliding away from me. Thank you. I'll show you the full pattern, Nancy, so you guys can see it. That I did. I just added some teal five and a half inch borders to separate the butterflies. I know that um, Missouri Star did theirs a little bit different. I was doing white originally, but it was too plain for it, so I needed to pull out that blue, because in the this middle strip had some blue, and I figured why not pull those blue out, along with all the purple, 
my daughter's favorite color is purple, so and so it's mine. Uh, you can tell they have all purple kind of cut uh, iron board and walls. I'm gonna put you back down so you guys can they don't lose the there that. So what are you guys doing today? Any sewing? Nancy, were you on my last live when I was doing the daydream quilt? That maybe I'll let you guys know that I'm working on that fat quarter um, sew sample box. Sounds like I need a new chair because it keeps making popping sounds. So. That's true, Sandra. I've thought about doing some because I have way too many um, two and a half inch strips. For um, I did do some scrap busting for a Chris Christmas present last year. So, and I used log cabin, is what it's called. So I took like purple on one side and then the blue on the other side. Um, let me see if I can find the picture for you. Because I don't know if I posted it in the group. I know I posted that I was working on it. So that's, here you go. Can you see it? That was, I made two of those and I figured why not um, I had it, they were giant rolls of all the two and a half inch fabric of blue and purple and so I took all that and made a log cabin and just kept going until it was big enough so Beverly, even if, after you catch up on housework, are you going to do some um, sewing for the day? For the weekend? Oh. Let's see if I can move. I'm going to move the camera back that way a little bit. And then I'm going to move my... So you guys can see what I'm doing. Watching me. I hope I don't bore you too much. I'm trying to do these lives because I know some of them on my date when I was doing the. I think you were at this last one with the daydream quilt one. Trying 
Thousand Dash Blocks. Awesome. What colors are you going to use, Beverly? That's cool. Okay, Sandra. I just don't want to make it too boring. I'm trying. So. But I try to chat as I cut and do stuff. I got a few more strips to cut up and then some strips for the two and a half inch squares. So, I'm glad that you're liking my channel so far. I know I haven't posted any more um, videos yet. I'm still, so like I was saying that I still need to do some cleaning before I do a full tour of the, my sewing room. That is pretty colors. I like that, Beverly. And I do not like that my rotary cover didn't cut through. So. Yes. I'm in Kansas. Also, most of my subscribers in the last two lives, sorry for my stuttering, um, know that they can call me Courtney or CJ. CJ has been my nick nickname for years because of my first name and my first middle name. So it's normally Courtney Jane and they call me CJ all the time in my family. And I like to make sure that if it's easier between Courtney and CJ, that might help to remember me, Brenda. I'm loaded, located in Hutchinson, Kansas. A very small town. And you can always ask me questions. I know if most of you know Practically Creative. Hi Dee. It, um, thank you, Brenda. It's just that I like to make sure you guys can, rem if it's easy to remember me by CJ or um, Courtney. So, how are you doing, D? Are you doing any sewing? Um, like I was saying, with Practically Creative, she thought she was being nosy because she saw something on my head. That is my cochlear implant. And I want you guys to feel like you feel like you can ask questions without feeling like you're offending me or anything. I would rather you guys get to know me as who I am over than hiding questions from me and not want to know. I don't want you guys to think I'm being you being nosy because I don't think that. I think that you're learning who I am. I hope that makes sense. And 
Brenda, you might have seen me on other channels that, but it was on my personal channel, or personal YouTube page as Courtney Sturbins. So, but I try to use this one more. I do have a Facebook group on with my page name with the YouTube name also I also have a page but that page I use that for for my business because I'm also a long armor no selling getting something ah I'm glad your son is back. And I hope you have fun with the retreat. It was Melissa. I don't know if Kathy said anything, but I know Melissa was the one. So, is that? Okay. But, um, I just want you guys to feel like you can ask questions because it doesn't bother me. When I was a kid, I didn't like to show off my hearing aid and coke hearing aids. I had hearing aids before getting this. I rather tell you guys be unique and be creative than hiding it. Also, thank him too. The because that is very appreciative of him to serve. So the heads up that uh, Wednesday night, I was going to do a poll to see which got, which night you'd like me to do, Wednesday or Thursday, if you can tell me which one you prefer me to do lives so that I can do this daydream quilt for you guys. Because I also like doing it in the evening because then I'm not being disturbed by my family. Awesome. You're welcome, Dee. I know those are hard times. My great-grandfathers, two of them, because my great-grandma got married twice, and they served, too. Uh, I know it's hard to be away from family. So now I got all the six and a half inch squares made with the two and a half inch strips I'm going so I, the in between the butterflies I'll show you what the pattern looks like and it has the um now I can't think of it 
the tower. Maybe one of you guys know what it is in Paris. I had it in my mind, but I forgot what the tower is. Hi, Teresa. Okay. It's just, I know that, Sandra, I think you're the one of them that wanted me to do more lives. But would you like also some videos when I do long arming? I know there's a quilt that I'm going to be doing. And it's going to be really fun. And it has to deal with... Um, I have not. But I did forgot to write the name down. <laughs> no. It is not bad, Teresa. I can tell you I've done it before, watching two lives. Thank you. I can't remember what it's called. It, I had it in my mind, but I don't know what it is called. Maybe Teresa knows. Teresa, do you know what tower this is called in Paris? Because I totally lost it. Awesome. I created this YouTube and part of it I was inspired by Teresa, the guy who says good 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 if I can say it right, good good also Becca and Tiffany, T quilts, all those quilters out there and I I realized maybe it was time for me to show my tips and tricks on stuff Emperor Tower I think Eiffel Tower there it is I knew it started with an E Thank you, D. I knew it was in my head, I just had to find it. I hope you had fun, Nancy, though. Hi, Shirley. I can tell you. It is okay to bounce to both or you look at the other lives as well. I don't mind. And you, anybody has channels, and I'm going to say the same thing. You can ask my moderators to link your channel. Um, you are more than welcome to post it in this chat as well. Just let, ask my moderators it, for that. I'd rather be friends and help each other in the quilt in, in any way. <laughs> Thank you, Brenda. I knew it started with an E. I just couldn't figure it out. Thank you, everybody. So, Teresa, since she came in a little late, I'll show you what I doing. Oh, I'm sorry. But here's the quilt I'm working on. Maybe if I can push my chair out. I can. It's called the butterfly quilt. So, and I put the five and a half inch border of teal in between it. And the puppies are going crazy again. <laughs> I hope they're not being too loud for you guys. Thank you, Teresa. Excuse me. 
Are you doing any sewing today, Teresa? Besides hopping between lives? That is not wrong at all. You know, we all like to watch other people too. I try really hard to find where I'm not intercepting some of them, but I don't always remember when they're going live sometimes. I just figured I'd pull out one of my UFOs and do a live and have chit chat. going on out there. I need to watch you, Shirley. I haven't looked at your YouTube this morning. Ah, I hope it's yummy. Beverly, I have been quilting for almost, I have to think, since 2017. But I long arm. I started long arming in 2018. I am so sorry, D. <laughs> it was a nice day that we're having a nice weather at like 68 degrees here, and I wanted them to play outside. So I'm sorry about that. When you were seeing me move some extra scraps, I created a little scrap bin of, uh, these are from Ikea, and so I made it to be my scrap bin on this table. Uh -oh. So, that's where they're going. <laughs> I agree with you, Shirley. in Kansas. Ooh, yummy. That sounds really yummy, Teresa. <laughs> I understand. are having a good day though. Maybe they'll stop after the neighbors stop going back there. So my yard is pointing my neighbor's um, garage so there's people walking back and forth. So
I do know that I am not going to be live tomorrow because I want to be able to watch Teresa and Tiffany tomorrow. And hopefully Lorena is not on there tomorrow because I'll be bouncing back and forth on that. I thought so too, D. Because I wasn't sure because I looked at her YouTube channel to see if she had it scheduled. But I wasn't I just wanted to make sure. But I don't know if you guys came from uh the guy who sew yet. Cause they just had their live. I like your saying, Shirley. <laughs> It's 2.30 for me, D. Yeah, they just got off and now he was getting on. Uh -huh. I thought he was going to come over on to mine. I haven't s seen him yet. I know Elizabeth was going to try to get on here. You're fine, D. Like I'm going to say, is if you need to look at something on the other YouTube lives, please feel to do so. Teresa, what are you talking about? I understand, Shirley. Uh, the computer I'm using right now, I had to get fixed. Because it wasn't working properly. And actually, I accidentally dropped some sweet tea on it. And it about a year later, it turns on on itself. Don't know how it made it right. I, I agree with Brenda. Oh, Sean? Okay. Uh, wh what pattern? The one I'm making right now? Or, give me a second. Or are you talking about this one? I'm trying to figure out my colors for this one, yeah. I got this one from... I actually didn't have a book or the pattern. I made it as I go. 
after I watched um, Missouri Star do theirs. Oh, Teresa, I found, I forgot I bought some Tula Pink fabric in Missouri Star. And it's the Curiouser one that you have, that you got from the, so yeah. I haven't quite figured out a pattern for it. Because of all the images, the pictures on that quilt, on the fabric, I'm worried if I cut them too small, how am I going to see them? Oh, D, I don't know if you've seen this one since you got on. This is what I have done so far. It's a big one of the butterfly and then trying to fit, fit it on my daughter's bunk bed so that she has pretty quilts to lay on. It's that one you said on um, Melissa's YouTube. I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do with it. Have you? I watched her YouTube the other day that she did with you. Which butterfly quote I'm doing? I'm doing the this one the way the Missouri Star did theirs. Excuse me. Thank you. And it's one of my UFOs and I thought if I could get where I'm doing lives, I figured you guys might like it, of um, doing UFOs. This is one of my UFOs. I have maybe 30 of them and I'm ready for them to be turned into a quilt. Yikes. My laptop was the one I bought because well, I'm on this one I can flip it over <clears throat> and draw on it and it's touch screen. I am working on and I'm gonna <clears throat> I know there's a dinosaur pattern out there, but I don't really like the one that the, uh, they have out there. So you know, the paper piece and elephant from Violet Craft got me an idea of making one with a dinosaur and cutting out the pattern. Because I like the, having paper piece changing colors and making it all pretty. And I will show you that one if some of you haven't seen it. As I said. So here's one side of the elephant. So, uh, let's see if I can pull this one out. Here's the trunk and the other side of the elephant. Oh, you're fine, Gina. I just maybe started. 45 minutes ago. I was originally going to do it at 12.35, which I gave Teresa the wrong time. And I was in contact with Elizabeth, good, good's good. And I decided to just move mine down because I wasn't sure if Stephanie had a retreat this weekend. So here's the other part of the elephant. And so, uh, oh, I gotta show you, Teresa. Here's the other tulip pink I have. So, let me turn around. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, 
line work to the pink. So, and that one is going into a pat, a different pat, UFO, and I'll show you that one. It's going in between to divide these little patterns here. So, I just took the half half square triangles, or excuse me, HST, and kind of designed different, like this one all together like a box, and then this one pops out right here, here. So, I did one in a row, it looks like a box here, and then two triangles in, colored triangles in, two black triangles in. So, and then I figured separate them from each other with the tulip pink fabric. You have a bunch of projects over here and trying to figure out what to do with the scraps. Awesome, Shirley. Thank you. I have the lion one too. Is I can't remember who's doing that. Um, I also have the wolf pattern as well. Thank you. Thank you, Brenda. As I will say is this machine here and I'll move my picture down so you guys can see me. I don't know if you can see the per rainbow. That is to the pink machine. I got the special edition one. I saw some videos on your channel, Shirley. I like them. I think one was a uh, knitting or crochet. I can't remember. Sorry. One of those things of, uh, what is it called? Ring doorbells. The other day I was doing it when I was remodeling. I was doing a TikTok live. I'm also on TikTok in the same name and um, with no commas and no and. And my husband scared me by talking through the ring door to tone. So, oh, got one more strip to cut up into squares. And I'm being very bad. I didn't close my blade. Normally I don't do that. Shirley, are you working on anything? Don't forget the thumbs up and make sure you subscribe with the bell if you're liking these.
so I'm trying to figure out if I can find I like that saying too Teresa a second I'm gonna go across and find something. and a half by 12 and a half. I do have um, the 12 and a half square ruler and a 15 and a half square ruler. Let me see what And I have a pineapple block one. And then eight and a half by 24 and a half ruler as well. So when I went to Missouri store to find some Tula Pink, I found these patterns and I know Teresa is going to recognize them right away. If I can get her face there. So I'm trying to decide what I want to do with this. I know. It was weird without having so back eye last night and stuff. I wonder too, that's why I was trying to do it a little earlier so that um, you guys can catch me along with, the, I forgot mom and pop takes 12 hours today. So I know t Quilt was on la on Wednesday, but I don't know if she's gonna be on tonight because I didn't see it. And if not, I might jump right back on and have fun and so that you guys have something fun. Yeah, um, I love my creative grid rulers. I would not try. I want to get a smaller one, and I'm thinking. I don't know what the smallest one they have. Yes, that is a big ruler. I have a bigger cutting mat on the other side of the table, or on the other side of this machine. So. I don't know. I have so many of them. If I can turn it up right. So. I, yep, Brenda. And then my my husband wants something. He, he He's the one that picked this out. And I don't know what to do with it. Because here's the flower. And then the Hexies, more flowers, stripes, ducks, and these little pretty, pretty orange and pink. Oh, they did so, so yeah, I did it yesterday. Um... I thought is T Quilt has her retreat this week. The smallest one is two and a half. Because I thought if I'm not doing bigger than two and a half, I would like to um have a smaller one in front of me. Mm -hmm. And I love them, but I don't know what to do with them. 
I have I have these two and a couple others from a, a bundle and I turn around cut them in the hexagon type with a purple backing of this one and then I think most of you you know those and then he got me this flower uh, this pa fabric but he's not sure what to um what he's gonna do this wants me to do with it because I don't know I just don't like to hold on it to it too long and then it sits there forever I do want some I want the ones of tulip paints with the sewing machine and scissors So, it's just I don't know what to do with it other than a bag is a good idea D but I don't know if I want to put it in a pretty quilt I thought so too with Stephanie being on a retreat as well I gotta find a place for it No, I have not heard of that one. Where do I look for that quilt, Brenda? I don't know. Because I thought I'd take these with the face ones and actually center them with the square block and saving them. So, I don't know. Because I thought if I took... So, so what if I took... Because I really don't want to mess up the picture. I could do about a seven and a half square and cut these face ones out with that. And do something different. So is she doing a live tonight or no? I like the idea. Thank you, Dee. I just thought if we could, if I could make something with it. And I thought I'd do the same with these flowers. Big flowers. Do the same word I do with Alice and... Now I forgot the queen's name. Okay. I want to go there one of these days, Brenda. I've been to Missouri Star. I've been to Angela Walter's store. Where else have I been? I've been to a quilt store in Corpus Christi, Texas. I've been to quilt stores around Kansas. Now I just need to find some more quilt stores. Quilt stores somewhere. Bye, Shirley. I hope to see you. If if T Quilt doesn't get on, I might come back on and have fun with you guys, so that you at least have something and somewhere to talk and all that. Okay, I may have to look for that. So.
probably forgot to change the stitch length. Teresa, did you use um, zipper leaders on your long arm? Anybody else doing some sewing or anything today? Do you use zippers leader, Teresa, for your long arm? I have a Bernina Q24. I did, before I got this, I did some testing. I did where I was making quilt tops constantly. And one time I did a quilt on a domestics machine. I looked at my husband and said, it's time for a long arm if I'm going to do it. So we went to a common quilt thing in Wichita and tested out Handy Quilt or Gamma. I don't know what else was out there besides the Bonina. But I fell in love with Bonina because the computer's not attached to the long arm. I pinned the other day because I didn't have my um, sewing machine up and running while I was remodeling and I tore up my skin. So, and one of my pins it was bent and it caught my shirt and tore it. And I was not happy. I'm going to have to change my bobbin here in a minute. Hi, Kathy. Okay. How are you guys? Kathy. Are you doing any sewing today? Or are you still pressing your strips? Kathy, I'm working on uh, my butterfly quilt today. And I'll show you what it looks like. I'm going to just pile that underneath all oh, my other quilt pile objects. So 
So that's the pattern I'm working on. In these colors. And that's good. Um, I wasn't sure if you were still cutting or ironing or cutting your strips because I missed Melissa's live, but I caught it that Thursday night while I was working on some customers' orders. So I just wanted to check in, hoping. And this is also just a um, work with me doing Hi Lori. I'm working on an oldest uh, one of my UFOs today, and it's a butterfly powder. So. Thank you. I know I scheduled it earlier today, but I went ahead and let Elizabeth go so that I could see what she she was interviewing the guy who sews. Thank you, Loy. So right now I cut the two and a half inch strips into six and a half and now I'm just sewing them together so that I can put the Eiffel Tower strips in between them on the corners. Oh, uh, I messed up. Just realized that. Hi, Elizabeth. <laughs> How are you guys doing? I just totally messed up. I wasn't supposed to sew them together yet. working on my butterfly quilt. Do you see something by your name, Elizabeth? And I'll show you. It looks like a butterfly. I'm trying to figure out which way to go. So, I know a Missouri Star did where they flipped their two bottom butterflies the opposite. I decided to go straight. Okay. So, good interview earlier.
Thank you. I haven't worked on it for in three years. Are you working on anything, Elizabeth? I figured to do a... I know this is my third one of live, but I figured to do a work on work with together live as we're doing it. Because I thought that would be a good way to help others to get finished with their UFOs. tell you Elizabeth I'm working on a pattern to do with a big dinosaur I haven't decided how I want to do it but I got my laptop fixed and figured I'd try to work on it you might be my first tester to see how it goes and if anybody else wants to be testers I would let them I have a pa uh, foundation paper Yay! Maybe we, if nobody does live, maybe you and I can do it tonight. If you want. As a work, um, a work with me live. a bunch of dinosaur ones they had ones with the different dinosaurs but I don't know if you've seen in Tiffany's Facebook group oh. my shirt would stop rolling up on me I don't know if you remember this one it's my elephant one I need to finish. Awesome. Let's make sure we, you tell me time and we'll get it done. I won't have a kid either. She's going to go. She spent the last night with me. And then she's going to go to her Nana's and spend some time with Nana. Whew, ow. I was pinning, uh, I used pins on the long arm, but I didn't realize how bad it took my finger. <laughs> so it cut a bunch of more areas. I, I, um, when I was trying to ask for a vote on going on live on either Wednesday, but I don't want to go during T's live but I also wanted to know if Wednesday or Thursday would be better because I don't know if anybody goes on Thursday so thank you D Okay, see you in a bit.
Okay. Do you, have you, um, have you done the foundation paper piecing before? Okay, do you prefer a little earlier in the evening? I don't mind, my family's supporting me doing this. I could do early in the evening, I just have to let them know not to disturb me. It's up to you guys. I, I will do any day if I want, if you guys want me to. I just figure, like today, hop on and say hi to everybody. Because I know Melissa goes during the day on Thursdays. Awesome. If you if you do fall in love with it, let me know because I'm probably gonna need some testers on it for my making my own. So they Violet crafted a big giant big elephant. I'm making a big dinosaur. My nephew loves dinosaurs. So, on your phone, if you go into your clock, hey, Melissa, that would help, Teresa, very much. Thank you so much, because I hate having to run into someone else's life. Um, if you go on your phone to your clock, there would be a, like, a world thing. It shows a, the earth. And you can click in there and say, I'm a, De I believe I'm Denver, Colorado, or Texas, or Oklahoma, and it pull up the clock. But also, YouTube, if I put it in a schedule to go on that day, and when you go into your YouTube, when it pops up, it'll tell you your time. How you doing, Melissa? How's the pineapple blocks going? I'm working on my butterfly quilt, and I'll show you. That's my butterfly quilt. Okay. I will cut you down, because I keep missing you. There you go, Melissa. I put a teal um, fabric in between them so that they don't look like they're running together. Okay. 
It's just I don't want to run into other lives. And I know Melissa does hers during the day. On Wednesday and Thursday, if I'm correct, Melissa. I'm not sure. I've been catching you almost every day as you're on. Thank you. Are you liking the paper piece in one? Or do I... The other one I... I tried paper piecing, it just made me frustrated. So I ended up, and I thought I'd show you, with this ruler. So, because it drove me nuts. But I like the fact that these ruler, here's the main center. As you cut, it makes it helpful. But I will try it again and see how good I do with it. But I'd like to watch you do yours first and then see how it turns out. I hope it turns out really pretty with all the colors you're using. Are you just using scraps? Okay. I just wanted to... I was telling everybody before you came on... I'm trying to find a set date that I can just leave set to um, set a live that has a date on it. Because next week is the day dream quilt. This one. Because I want to make sure to finish that. So. Awesome. I can't wait for yours to get there so you can use them. mine off of Amazon did you order where they make it in um, different sizes for you okay Thursday night will be set I will change the actual um, the one live I already scheduled Yes, I was asking you, Melissa, about the scraps. Are you using... I thought you were... Are you still using the scraps with your pineapple block? I'm trying to find my oil. Sorry. <laughs> so if you ever run out of oil, the best place to order is allstitch.com. That's where I got this one. I may order an embroidery thread because I do embroider. I'm trying to check and make sure I don't have um, Ooh, awesome. You mean all uh, all express? Can't beat that price though without uh, for a pair. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm, I'm. Give me a second. Okay. That was a painful button. Pack quarters. Sorry. Uh. But the pieces I need are one and a half. Awesome. I think Teresa helped me decide it's going to be Thursday nights. Awesome, Sean. Hey, Sean, make sure you put on your schedule Thursday nights about 7, if everybody's okay with that. Okay. 
I may have to look into that. Oh, this is not tulip pink. Just so you know. This is just regular galaxy flowers with a galaxy star sky and stuff. But I'm still trying to figure out how to um what is it? Decide on fabric. And now Melissa, since you're here, maybe you can help me with that. And Kathy. Because I haven't quite figured out what I'm gonna do with it. And I know who was D's asked. Is the butterfly powder? No. This powder? No. It is not foundation paper piece. It is mostly like they have um, circles and stuff in it. That is not foundation piece. So. What time you have now? Are you talking about my, what time I'm in? It is 321 here. Oh, this is just fabric. Oh, the pattern that I was doing of an elephant. This, okay, this one is not tulip pink. I can tell you that right now. This is with the Eiffel Tower and all that. Okay, Melissa, I have, and I know Brenda knows what it's called. I have the Curiouser fabric and maybe you can help me decide and I think what I, I think we decided to cut like fussy cut fussy cut with this Lori um, are you talking to me if you are I think my emails in the description below if not let me know uh, I'll just Hold on. There you go. That is my email. Lord. I hope that helps. Okay, you're looking at... Oh, these look like flying geese pattern. Yeah. I can see that now. I wasn't sure what you were talking about. Uh, so, Melissa, if you're going on Kathy's time at 2.30, 3.30, which is you at 5.30, which puts me, I don't know. I'm central. I'm thinking I'm going to fussy cut these so that they're... um. And a center pieces or something I don't know I know I want to fussy cut these because I do not want to cut through the face and I have all this tulip pink fabric plus I have this pink fabric as well so I don't know what do you think, Melissa? Hi, Martha. Thank you. Because I have all this, Melissa. Plus the beautiful flower. So, I don't know. 
Hi, Stephanie. Hey, you finally made it. I know it was a kind of speak in the spy and I didn't let my moderators know. So. All right. And everyone, if you've seen the email, you may go ahead and keep write it down if you want. So, it, the pattern that I'm doing, so, this pattern is, I found it on Missouri Star, but they took this one and this one and flip it this way. And I, my husband and I decided we like it this way. So... Okay, thank you, Melissa. I wasn't sure. I figured I asked you. Okay, I'll check them out, too. Trying to find an empty block. So, I, earlier, I made a mistake and had not put the squares on yet. So I have all these sewn, sewn together, and I have to unstitch them later. So. Thank you, Melissa. Well, I didn't get the corner pieces on, so I need a, I could do these two corners. I didn't think about that, but I need the triangle here in the center. So. I decided to do this live so that we could all work on our UFOs and talk to each other. So I was asking Teresa the other day about the lighting on this machine because I wasn't sure if this way looks good or the last live looks better so that you can see. And she said to ask you guys and see how it is. Because I can turn off the light if on this machine so that it's dark enough so you can see what I'm doing.
It's fine. Okay. Thank you, Teresa. Okay. At night, it does get a little bit bright, but I wasn't sure. a quilt that I made a long time ago and it was my very first quilt and it's well loved Stephanie but I had my grandma my grandma brought it to me so this is the quilt that I made with my cousins so and are you going to make a video of that one because that would be awesome. I would do one with this one. Because I have to fix that. And I figured I'd take it apart and get put in a better fabric for it. So. And I agree with Melissa. Are you going to do a video of it? Maybe I can learn something from you. And then. Okay. This was stitched on my domestic machine. No um, long arm or anything. And then I took and stitched these. Um, now I forgot the name of it. Now I can't say it. Those window things. And I used it to stitch clear in the back. So that there's a a same pattern to it. Because I might learn a couple of things from you to ha on fixing that. Thank you. It was my very first. I didn't... Thank you, Bubba. Sometimes I can't say that word. I don't know what it is. Okay. I can tell you I just can't say it. Okay. I would like to see it though. So, Melissa, what are you going to do on your live? I can try to help you. Um, that's understandable. My R's don't come clear out the right way because of my hearing and Melissa I was telling everybody else if they have questions about me and I t I don't feel like it's a nosy thing I feel like you're learning how learning about me as who I am how I'm unique and different thank you Stephanie I have to restore it it was well loved my grandma kept it on her bed for almost six five years six years would um would you like to do a zoom with all three with Kathy and you and me if if you're okay with that and we can hang out together and you can get to know me more and then others can understand who I am and all that um It'd be fun to play with fabric if I can get to it. <laughs> Ooh, before I forget, another thing that I did. 
and it's the hugest project I've done so far. And ah, uh, it's heavy. I made this for my nephew in New Orleans. So, with grays, maybe I can open it so you guys can see the orange. And some orange in all different shades. As long as it's okay with Kathy, yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> yes. Maybe, um. Stephanie, you and I maybe do a Zoom one in these days. So. Okay. I did this from a pattern out of Pinterest. So. <laughs> I have a pile over here full of stuff that I need to put away and clean. Uh, the quilt top needs quilted and all that. Thank you, Dee. Um. Yeah, my nephew in New Orleans is, so my husband's 12 years older than me. So I have a nephew that is three years younger than me. Thank you, Melissa. I found the pattern on Pinterest. It, it did have a natural pattern, but I had to buy, if I wanted to, I wanted to, if I have, if I wanted to buy it, but it, looking at the picture, I figured I could figure it out. Um, I'm not sure. I know that people do about 12 of them in Zoom. Thank you, Martha. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, Sandra. each other was a co-worker of ours because I used to be a certified nurse aide and certified maid aide and I got hurt on the job and then my husband is an RN he was when I met him he was an LPN and he was going to school and he got his RN and um, became an ER nurse and has been at the same hospital. Okay. I'm okay with that. Getting to know each other and all and having fun. So, um, and you got my email, because I put it on there for Lori. Uh, and like I was saying, you, and then my husband, I got hurt, and my husband said, you know what, you do what you want for, to spend some time with my daughter, who's nine now, and this is her quilt, 
that I've started. And, um, and that's how I fell in love with uh, quilting. Because I wanted to do something. Before this, I was making jewelry. I did origami paper. I made little stars. And I uh, took those little stars and put them in onto an earring thing and made earrings with beads. My husband in the ER sometimes... Um, sometimes it, it gets busy at night. Right now he's on night shift. Originally he just got promoted to go to days. But they asked him to come back to nights for a little bit. Till his birthday. Which is May. Um, he, he said some nights are crazy and some nights are not. And some nights are boring. And you're sitting there with nothing to do. So. But he loves it. And he works 45 minutes from our home. So. I love. Before I got hurt. I loved doing my CMA and CNA. I think. When it, Melissa and Kathy. I think if we're on there. Maybe to. If we're sewing, to mood, mood ourselves so that we're not um, getting, how do I say it? The machine's not over-talking on you. Hey, Mom and Pop. How are you doing, Laura? Laura, I can't say that. I'm just going to say Mom. How are you doing? Um, that's awesome. I just take paper earrings and then I just put, so like if I chose a certain color like pink, I'll do some like pink and white beads. I do some, but I haven't in a while. Okay, I wish my machine would not eat my fabric. I gotta find a scrap. Um, Mom, Laura Lynn, my name is Courtney, but you can call me CJ. Most people already in this um, group already call me CJ mostly, and that's my n nickname from growing up. Okay, <laughs> I'll call you more. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? The only sucky part I don't like is having to take that off. It does. And now it just doesn't want to stitch right. So I don't know what's going on. I have some lint stuck in something. A piece of lint. You did a panel today, Mom? Okay. What kind of panel did you do today? I missed your live because I came on live. Oh. 
I just don't like my machine being crazy. I'm glad you came over. So, since you're just now coming over, I will show you what I'm working on. So, uh, this is the quilt I'm working on. Oh, if I can get it in the right angle. It's a butterfly quilt. I'm glad you're here too. Um, I'm using this page, this YouTube page. You probably remember me from my personal page, Courtney Sturbins. I decided to move over to this one since Abby took over my personal one with cameras, videos. So I'm making this butterfly quilt. Thank you. So, now my machine was doing this. The bobbin was with a leftover scrap piece, thread. Yes, Teresa, that's tonight. Thank you. I'll see it. My thread went over um, the piece that pulls the needle up and down like three times and it was making the stitches look crazy That's a good idea. We can all have fun and for a Saturday evening. You okay, Teresa? Now we'll try that again. another quilt I did for my nephew since you missed a part of it and I did it in different shades of oranges and grays and blue uh, grays and blue and I took it from a um, Pinterest picture now I'm seeing something down there I forgot to take that off so Hey, Melissa, what time would that be for Central? 
Ooh, yummy. So here's the beautiful thing. Thank you. And then here's my very first quilt since you haven't been on yet. Before. This was my first quilt that I made my grandma. So, and it's well loved. With cathedral. So, and it just has a hole and it needs fixed. 451 there? Okay. I'm at 351 right now. <laughs> so here you go mom I took all the charm packs and did it and then I made sure on the big squares even my stitches coming out oopsie the big squares we wrote on them this is We Love Mom and Grandma. And then, yeah, that was a challenge that I challenged myself to do when I first did it. Yeah, it was a hard work for me. Oh, nah. Mouse is playing funny things to me. Thank you, Mom. Now I just gotta fix it. My grandma loved on it for five years now. So, I'm hoping to get it fixed for her. Oh, and also, that's not the only thing we did. We even said, world's best grandma. And then, um, between my three cousins, we have nicknames from our, gra our, our grandparents. Oh, this one. Are you asking if this hand stitch? No, it's not hand stitch. It was just machine. First time I um, domestic quilted this. So these three names are between me and my two cousins. They're also girls. So my little nickname is the bottom from my grandma. So <laughs> my grandpa always called my me that by that so we're uh I gotta fix it and make sure that I can get stitching fixed into it I thought I'd restore it by taking the blocks out and redoing the whole thing to quilt it because I didn't have a long arm at that time Uh, yeah, if I was to do it that way, but I noticed my stitches, my quilting stitch is coming out. And I need to do the whole thing. Thank you. So on the quilting, instead of doing the cathedral window thing, I, instead of stitching it on separate, apart from the back, I actually stitched it on the back, through the back to make it pretty on the back. 
I did blue thread. I tried to match them, but it didn't. And this is the back of it. Thank you. Oops. Thank you. It's just I thought if I kind of take it apart and actually fix it. Because the stitching that I did was on a domestic machine and it's like literally coming out. Oh, mom on the um on your quilt guild page. On my page, there is a quilt that I got second place. Okay. Tell Pop Hi for me. <laughs> hey, I found a way to make sure my corners don't get sucked in. I forget the square. <laughs> Thank you. It was a baby quilt that I made for my nephew who was born in September. So he's, I can't think, six months now? It will be seven months in October, uh, April. So. I save those um, corner pieces I take off. Um, I take a piece of scrap. Yeah. Scrap piece out of my scrap bucket up here. And just sew it on it first. And then sew the piece in. So I, okay. Here's all of Daydream's um fabric that I have sticking in on little um, boards and then I keep in here I keep all the scraps I use an Ikea bin to keep it close to me so that I can just grab a scrap and fix it on the corner pieces I don't know how many of you know Miss Tiffany actually got me started on that um, to Put the corner piece, save the corner pieces, and use them as an hourglass. I don't think I have one in here. Wait. And I figured I'd just use them. You're welcome. Oh, I'm about to put that in the scrap bucket. I'm going to sign off too because I don't want to be too late getting on. But I, I don't want to sign off quite yet until mom gets back. I'll let you, I'll see you in a bit, Melissa.
Teresa, Tiffany got me hooked on saving those half pieces that I cut off. I don't know what I'd do without her. See ya in the next live. As we were saying goodbye to each other, make sure you be creative, be unique, and be happy. And do what you love. Sorry, Lori. It's pretty nice outside today, so I had to put them out. I, Teresa, I used to throw them away because I didn't know what to do. So, all right. I'll see. I'll see you in the next one. But I, I love that. You guys hear them. Bye, Dee. See you on the next one. So. Do you know how much longer we have, Kathy? I don't want to overrun because I don't need to get off soon to get the, when I get the email from Melissa. Um, the, yeah, that is a good idea. Um, T Tiffany is the one that said that save those other half to become, um, another project okay I might do a few more and then hop off so that when Melissa sends us the email we're ready to go um I just figured use them because I think what I'm gonna do on those is take them and then take all of those triangles and I'm just gonna put it all in one quilt even if it's not the matching colors and I think I would like I don't know if I would like that but I think it would look cool knowing that I took all of those half triangles to use it in in something else I'll see you Kathy um, but I think it would be cool to see how many quilts I cut those pieces off into one quilt. I need to get the Farm Girl Vintage book so I can start working on those. So.
That's cut off the wrong corner. Okay, I use personally, if it's like these projects here, I would cut them up and use them into the um, scraps to make sure the corners are done. I can't wait to see you on the next one because I think it's going to be fun. But um, like if it's so small, Martha, let me see if I can find something small. If it's less than a half, uh, I'd say like this piece. If this, I don't usually do one and a half for um, anything very often. Or if it's less than that, I use them to go through the machine. I can't wait to order mine. I have to wait till this week but I'd like to do some more. are you doing Kathy what was the other thing you were doing on your your side that I was talking about last time you said something I'm not sure I can't remember now um I love it okay I know that I love Lori Holt stuff, um, but I also, I want the books first. So I can see it. Okay, I'm probably going to hop off and have a few pineapple book. Okay, did I tell you I have a pineapple block ruler, right? I think it would be cool. Uh-oh. I think I found an idea with the tulip pink. Instead, don't use the face. Um... Are you asking me, Martha, or her? Kathy, yeah. Okay. Um, I think it would be cool to use the tulip paint, but take the ones with the faces and put them somewhere else in the block. What do you think, Kathy? Take the rest of the fabric that is not big prints and actually make the pineapple block. And then, um, take the ones with the big prints and put them in certain spots. What do you think, Kathy? Or anybody else? It's creative good. I can show you again. It's called creative good. Ah, I can't say it today. Creative Grid Ruler Pineapple Trim Tool designed by Leanne and Wright. And it looks like this. And they have a mini one. You think so? I might end up stopping my UFO and doing that one. I think you got me an idea. <laughs> that means I'll have another UFO to finish. Because I think if we put the prints, the big prints, and take a fabric around it to size it to fit in the blocks in the quilt. I, my head just spun around. I don't know what happened. I wasn't sure at first, and now I have one. So it's 410 here, so I need to probably get off right, Kathy. Because we're doing it about... What time? Five on my time? Or 421? Well, I was 
wasn't sure if you were going to do it too. Because I think if you put the big one, like I'm using, I would use, here. So the big print, I'd use this with the pineapple too, but I would use some of this in a big, so that it fits that size. To the block of the pineapple. So I'll see you later. Are you leaving? Are you going to be on the next one too? I think you and me, Teresa, need to do that together. It is 4-11 right now. And I haven't gotten anything from Melissa. Bye, Lori. Five, my time. Okay. I might get off and try to clean up my station area so I can work on that pineapple block one. Because then I don't have a bunch of fabric everywhere for two different projects. And I don't know who's running a lawnmower right now. No, oh, that's a car. Uh, so, um, it's 4.13, I, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get off so I can clean my station area, and Teresa, I think I am going to change the schedule for my lives to be for like the if I'm doing a project live like the daydream pattern I think I'm gonna do where uh, I do that on Thursdays or any projects to work on and then the extras maybe pop in here and there does that sound good to you And if it sounds good to others, just let me know. Ooh, I can't wait to see it, Martha. Sounds like a plan. Okay. I will just go ahead and set it to be scheduled every Thursday so you guys know ahead of time on my calendar that's linked to the YouTube. Um, be creative, be happy, be loved, be unique, and I will see you on the next one. And have a wonderful day. Bye, everybody. Let's say all byes and I will see you on Melissa's.